YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another video and consistent Juan in the building, man. You know, I told you since the draft is a couple weeks away, less than two weeks away, actually, what, 12 days to be exact. I'm going to be consistent, man. I'm back and cons uh, to consistent, uh, well, to upload at least every day, if not every day, every other day. And um, I'm back, man, because, I mean, I, I never went away. I just, you know, uploaded probably like two times a week. I'm probably going to try to upload every day week now because I have so much time on my hands. I just have to find a video idea. Now, today's video, I'm going to be asking, answering the overdue question that a lot of people wanted me to answer. And I'm pretty sure you guys already know my answer. Um, from pretty sure of all you already know my answer because we're going to draft this guy. But um, the overdue question that a lot of people have been asking me is: Is Chase Young overrated? Now I know you're probably saying to yourself, silly. Well, at least someone that has some football sense is saying to yourself, man, you're you're you don't need to make this video. We already know the answer. We already know the answer. But I just I just want to answer this video only because. You know, it's long overdue. I was pretty, I was supposed to do this video probably a month ago, but I really like laid it off because I was like, it's a dumb video to do, man, because we know the answer. But I really just wanted to do this video because yesterday he was on live with the ESPN record or reporter, I forgot her name, but she did an Instagram live interview with Chase Young. And they posted it on their ESPN page and said, is Chase Young the best player in the draft? And when I clicked on the comment section, literally everybody said, overrated this guy's overrated no Simmons is the best person in the draft this guy's overrated he's not as good as he is not he's not as good as it seems um you know they just saying that he's overrated and saying a lot of bad things about Chase Young so today's video that I'm going to be answering the topic is is Chase Young overrated now if you don't know who Chase Young is you're sleeping on the rock Chase Young is a junior from Ohio State that just committed well I say committed well declared for the draft and now it's about to get drafted number two overall by the Redskins, hopefully in two less than two weeks. 6'5", 200, and uh, I forgot the exact weight. 200, no, 6'5", 265 pound of defensive end. So let's just talk about it for a second. Chase Young, man, the most dominant player in America and, and, and at the collegiate level. He was the Big Ten Player of the Year. He was what he was probably what top he finished top three in the Heisman voting. If he would never got suspended for something that was so stupid of NCAA to suspend him of, he probably would have won Heisman if I'm being honest, man. This guy was a game wrecker and I think that he will change this Redskins program for the better. Now is he overrated? I say no. A lot of people are saying that he's overrated because he didn't do anything in that Clemson game. But, I mean, when you have three people, I literally say three people um, triple teaming this guy the whole game, what do you expect him to do? And if you watch that game, even though he was getting triple teamed, he still was in Trevor Lawrence's face just because he didn't make the big sack or the big pass deflection or forced fumble or interception, per se, when he drops back and covers that game. He was still in Trevor Lawrence's face, so he was still getting a lot of pressure. Now, a lot of people was using that Clemson game as a as something to bid on because they're so used to Chase Young having having at least five to seven sacks per game, not per game, but you know what I mean. That was a little over exaggerated, but you know what I mean. At least three sacks per game, and he didn't have that versus Clemson. Now, I, yeah, I can say Clemson did do a good job of containing Chase Young, but. That's what you're supposed to do when it's three versus one. You're not supposed to let them dominate you. Because, I mean, I did see Chase Young beat a triple covered or a triple team before. Just look up his highlights. I promise you. Now, Chase Young is not overrated. And I just I just think that they're saying this a lot only because he's coming to the Redskins. Or, is it, or it's looking more and more like as the Redskins. He's coming to the Redskins um, each day. Now, I feel as if that people are saying only saying this because of where the Redskins. They fear that we're going to use him wrong and he's not going to be as big as a threat as he was in Ohio State. And I just, on top of that, I just feel like the Redskins are one of the teams that get hated on the most and get trash talked the most, especially by Giants fans. And I don't, I don't know why Giants fans had something to talk about because, I mean, you're no better than us. If I'm being honest, Danny Dimes, 13 fumbles. Just imagine what Chase Young is going to do to him when we get him. If you already had 13 fumbles last year, a way better Montez Sweat and a dominant Chase Young. Oh, my God. I'm not even going to get on that. That's another video for my trash talk to the Giants fans. But anyways, back on topic. 
is Chase Young overrated? I honestly don't think so. And this is just me being unbiased as possible because I know a lot of people want to think that I'm being biased because we're drafting Chase Young. I'm literally not being biased at all. If I was a Patriots fan or if I was any other kind of team fan, the Bucks, Saints, it does not matter. Whatever fan I was, and if Chase Young was still getting drafted number two to any team, not even just the Redskins, whoever had that number two pick if it wasn't the Redskins, I would still say Chase Young is not overrated. This guy is literally a game changer. You're up by one. You need a stop, and you win the game. Chase Young's coming off that edge and making that play. Other than the quarterback position, um, edge rusher is the second most important because you need someone that's going to throw the ball and get you touchdowns, and you need someone that's going to get the quarterback per Chase Young in this situation. So with, my, my, with that being said... Chase Young is not overrated, and I really think that when he comes to the Washington Redskins, he will prove that. And like I said, I don't think people honestly think he's overrated. I think it's just because he's going to the Washington Redskins, and we know how poorly this team has been ran into the ground. Um, and I think people are just, you know, hating on the Redskins because we're the Redskins. I think that they think we're just going to ruin everybody's career, which, I mean, I can't be mad at them for having that opinion because, once again, it's an opinion. And second of all, they have proof because this team has been ran into the ground and we did ruin a lot of players' career. So, I mean, I can they can have some say into that, but at the same time, I'm just like, this new regime isn't going to allow that to happen. Chase Young is just too dominant to pass up on, and I think that he's not oh, um, overhyped. I just think that he's going to, you know, have a chip on his shoulder just because people are saying that he's overhyped and he doesn't deserve to go number two. And I think he's going to ball out and do just fine. Now, to, for people to address, let me address this. Just I'm just going on a rant, guys, like I did yesterday. I'm doing it again today. Let me, let me address this Isaiah Simmons versus Chase Young deal. I'm not saying Isaiah Simmons is bad or no, and all, but I feel as if that Chase Young is going to come in and make an immediate impact. And I think it's going to take Isaiah Simmons at least a year to, you know, reach his potential and reach his peak. Now, I'm not saying Isaiah Simmons is going to be bad, but I just feel as if he's not going to be as good as Chase Young, and that's not me being biased, because I would love to have Isaiah Simmons. I don't want you guys to think that I'm being biased, but I think that it's also another linebacker. I'm not saying that's going to be as good as uh, Isaiah Simmons, but there's another linebacker later in this draft. If you want to watch the full mock draft, you can even go watch mine's or my boy Street Scores mock draft that he uploaded yesterday. It's literally a linebacker later that we can get in this draft that is just as um that has the same player build as Isaiah Simmons. Am I gonna say as talented? No, because this guy is literally a hybrid linebacker. He's literally, you know, one of the best players in the draft, if not the second best player in the draft. I just think that it's gonna take him longer to reach his peak, and not just because he's going to the Giants. That would not be the reason why I'm saying this. I just feel that Chase Young is gonna come in and make a media impact. And Isaiah Simmons will take longer to reach that potential. And I think Isaiah Simmons will be a great addition to the Giants team if they do select this guy. And I think he will have a great career. I just don't think that it's going to be as soon as a lot of people are thinking it's going to be. Now, now to the Redskins situation. Why? People, a lot of people wanted Isaiah Simmons. I'm not saying that we shouldn't take Isaiah Simmons if we trade back. Because if we do, and he's available, take him. But why would you want us to draft him over Chase Young? Like I said, edge rusher is the second most important position on the field. Linebackers were already stacked there, and I don't see Isaiah Simmons. I'm not going to say he's not going to make the team over here because he obviously will because he's, he's a first-round pick, but I don't think he's going to be as impactful as he would be for a team like the Giants that really needs linebackers. So, with that being said, no, I do not think I, uh, Chase Young is overrated. What do you guys think down below about this topic? Like, comment, subscribe, hello to the Redskins. Jab is in a little 12 days. Chase Young will be a Redskins soon. Like, comment, subscribe, post to the Redskins. I gave you my opinion. The floor is yours. Is Chase Young overhyped, overrated? I don't think so. And I'm, I tried to be as unbiased as possible. The floor is yours. I gave you my opinion. One last thing I want to say before I get out of here is that Tuesday I will be going live with Ed Oliver to have, answer all you guys' questions. So turn on post notifications so you can get notified when I or either him goes live on the channel to um, answer all the guys' questions that you have, man. Tune in 7 p.m. Like, comment, subscribe, hello to the race because another video will be coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow should be an interesting one where I discuss is Cal Allen really a threat? 
to Dwayne Haskins. Like, comment, subscribe, hello to the Redskins, Mean Boy One Gotti. Is Chase Young overhyped? Or is he just or he's just right? <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, hello to the Redskins. Peace.